Today I'm the, the, the owner of uh, Corny Boats, which is uh, the boat yard that manufactures, designs and manufactures the, um, the range of uh, Tramfly tramlines that my uh, father started back in 1967. I'm 62 years old. I've been in the business, uh, I went, in, went into the, my dad's business as a young kid uh, in 78 as a full time, but uh, basically I started there in 72 to <laughs> to sweep the floor after school time. So uh, I've been uh, around boats all my life and that's all I can do. <laughs> uh, and the first boat was was the Tremran, uh, a a Trident 28, uh, Trident, sorry. And uh, they built the boat with uh, with composite hulls, but with a plywood deck, with a, uh, wooden frames, everything on the deck, wooden mast. Uh, and the boat was sold before it was launched. Uh, a lot of interest, but that's this boat was done, sailed away, and that was it. My father was very, very disappointed, and he needed to, to feed his family, so he started to build small fishing boats, and that's where we started uh, building about four, five hundred of the uh, Luna uh, powerboat range, and then in the uh, up during the uh, mid 70s, my uh, my father still loved the uh, trimarans, and he kept uh, working with trimarans in the evenings and uh, building uh, displacement powerboats and in the daytime. It was a slow start and it was difficult to convince people that um, trimarans was uh, the right way of sailing because it's been a long, long journey where we didn't know how to build the boats in the, uh, in the right way. So we have had a very high learning curve and also a high learning curve to how to sell these boats. The system was, was a real uh, game changer and we knew that because up during the 70s and the 80s um, we only built what we call uh, fixed, fixed wing boats so they couldn't fold and we okay at that time we had more space in the harbors at the different buoy uh, anchorages uh, but we knew that if we would uh, survive building tram lines we, we needed to, to crack that problem uh, with the beam in the in the harbors and not only harbors but also beam uh, for winter storage for handling and so forth so it took uh, my dad and me uh, three years to design and uh, this what we call our uh, swing wing system uh, and to to, uh, to break that down into just pulling one single line you don't have to use any tools or anything just a winch handle one line and you can fold the boat in and out and we still do the same today people still think it's new this was back in 1989, so it's more than yeah, 35 years ago that we started with the folding system. And as a boat builder, that was one of the biggest uh, moments in my uh, boat building career, to see suddenly this boat folded up, suddenly became small and big again. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. We focused on racing in the early years, but that has also becoming uh, more and more difficult. So today, what we do today is, you can say, call it uh, fast cruising boats for uh, for yeah family but also for shorthanded sailing the boats are perfect for shorthanded sailing performance cruising is really key these days so of course it's it fits yeah. in and uh, that uh, and when we come to to sails um, we are because of trimarans they have a, a much bigger writing moment so not all sailmakers at that time understood uh, the bigger force we have uh, the double loads in the rigging and the sails so um, uh, with this very close uh, cooperation with uh, with Elstrom, we had a lot of we did a lot of experimental and we developed the sales uh, uh, very very close with Elstrom sales over those yeah over these many years still do yeah. sales for multi hulls are a bit more uh, not everyone would agree but it's not the same as for a monohull in some ways a bit, bit more complicated uh, so we have uh, spent a long time to. Uh, to develop uh, the sails to fit our our purpose, our boats, uh, to make it easy to work, to get the right shape. Uh, there are many opinions on uh, on all this uh, sail making, but uh, but this uh, close uh, partnership with with Elstrom has has really been uh, has been extraordinarily good for all these years. Elstrom says it's close uh, when something is not as it should be. It's uh, it's quickly to. Uh, uh, to act to operate on this and uh, we export again uh, uh, boats worldwide so it's important to have this close relation 
and have uh, high quality products. And um, to, to round this off, uh, there's also a future for uh, for Dragonfly and for Corning boats. So what does that hold? Of course, as we are located uh, in Denmark, which is a very expensive uh, country for for manufacturing, so uh, so I still believe we are still here, uh, and I still believe we have a, a a very very good chance to to survive. Having said that, my my son is now in the business, and my two daughters, uh, but Peter is uh, full time in the business. So uh, now the third generation is uh, is in place, so I can sort of. Uh, I won't stop. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, uh, but um, it's very important for our clients and for our business to to know that that we will be here, that uh, we are here for the long term basis. I believe we are here for for many years.